Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we break down complex coding concepts into easy to understand tutorials. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today we're diving into an exciting feature introduced in Python 3.10, the match case statement. Developers coming from languages like C, C++, or Java know that there is a conditional statement known as a switch case. This match case is the switch case of Python which was introduced in Python 3.10. It allows for cleaner and more readable code when you need to match variables against a series of patterns. Let's jump right in and see how it works. First, let's look at the basic syntax of a match case statement. Here I have a function called getDayName, and I passed a parameter day. If I want to match the day variable with a specific value, I can use the match case statements here. Match day. Case 1. Return Monday. Now I will do the same thing for the next six cases. In the case 2, I have to write Tuesday. And in the case 3, Wednesday. Case 4. Thursday. Case 5. Friday. Case 6. Saturday. And lastly, case 7. Sunday. And after this I will add one last case statement, which is, case underscore. Return. Invalid, day, number. Let's call the function. Print. Get day name. Let's say 3. Let's check the results. So it's simply print out Wednesday. Here, we use match followed by the variable we want to check. Each case checks for a specific value. The case underscore acts as a wildcard, matching anything not caught by previous cases, similar to a default case in other languages. The match case statement in Python is not just limited to simple value matching. It can also handle more complex patterns, such as tuples, lists, and even nested structures. Let's explore this with some detailed examples. First, we'll look at how to match tuples. Tuples are ordered collections, and we can use pattern matching to destructure and work with their elements directly. Here I have a function called describe point, having a parameter point. I want to match the input point against several patterns. Match point case 0, comma, 0 return origin case 0, comma, y return I will use f strings here. y axis. At y equals y. I will copy this and paste it for the next case. Case x, comma, 0. Return. x axis. At x equals x. One more case will be case x, comma, y. Return. Point at parenthesis inside the curly brackets x comma y and the last case will be underscore return unknown point let's call this function print describe point i have to pass a tuple containing points 3 comma 0 let's check the results x axis at 3 the first case will match the tuple 0, 0 and returns origin. The second case will match any tuple where the first element is 0 and captures the second element into a variable y and returns the y-axis. Same as third case, where the second element is 0, then captures the first element into x. Then return x-axis. The fourth case will match any tuple with two element, capturing the first element into variable x and the second into variable y then returns the point at x and y axis. And the last case, the wildcard case. This pattern matches anything that wasn't matched by the previous cases. And prints a message unknown point. With advanced pattern matching, you can handle various complex data structures in a very readable and maintainable way. This makes your code cleaner and easier to understand. And that's a wrap on our tutorial on match case statements in Python. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps us out. And if you have any questions or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. 
we're always looking for new ideas and love hearing from our community. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues who are learning Python. Knowledge is best when shared, and together we can all become better programmers. Thanks again for watching.